This is a duke field we have here, and you can see the the flowers are almost about to bloom. A lot of them are just pink yet. And a lot of them aren't even showing, so buds like these are barely breaking. And so there's a lot of variation between bud break in this field here. Because a lot of the canes are strong whips coming from the base of the plant. And they're bearing fruit, and generally those sh uh, the stronger the shoot is, the later it blooms. And you can see a bumblebee right here. Not sure. That's gone now. They have a couple of nests around this area. So, for example, shoots like these right here, they're, they're barely breaking just yet. And on the same plant you have shoots like these. Or branches like these that are almost about to bloom. So there's a lot of variation. And that's not a good thing really, especially if you're machine picking. Because if there's variation in bloom, there'll be variation in ripening. And then that makes machine picking more difficult. And here's another bumblebee. That's really a good thing to have nat uh, natural pollinators because if you have uh, some blooms that are early, the leaders, um, so the bumblebees will be able to pollinate that. Whereas if you're bringing in commercial hives, which you will, but if you're solely relying on those, what happens is those leaders tend to not be pollinated and that's lost fruit. So it's really a good thing to have natural pollinators. We have a forest all around our field, so we have a lot of nesting sites around there. <laughs>